Do your spreadsheets look like this? What if they could look like this instead? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using Polymer Search. Whether it's spreadsheets from work, your personal life, or your business, they can all get a little bit too cluttered. We're gonna make those spreadsheets more organized, more pleasing to the eye, and overall just easier to see and search data from. I honestly did not know how much I needed this tool until now. Thank you so much Polymer Search for sponsoring this video. Now let's just get right into it. All right, so I have an ideas catcher spreadsheet here and this spreadsheet basically holds my ideas tasks notes maybe like a few goals or caption ideas or mostly ideas that that's what it's basically for but of course you can add other, other things as well if you'd like and not only does it have just the name you add the type which is you know either a video idea or a note or a caption or something and the other columns that it has as well is importance. So I have a drop down menu of different stars. You can kind of give it a, an importance rating. Then there is priority, which is you can, it's a drop down menu as well, where you can add either one of these four. You can add a description if you'd like, a link, an image, and then a status. So if it's to do, it's on an open status. If it's in progress, behind, and if you've completed it, it's closed. And if you want, you can add a start date and a due date as well. So let's just have an example here. So if I add like an ABC idea, it of course is an idea. And it's somewhat important to me, not really. And I'd say maybe it's like a low priority. an open status or so that's basically how i update it i just add different ideas now if i go to polymer search right now i'm in the home screen so as you can see i'm in the home screen if you want to expand this you can like this but as you can see yeah i'm in the home screen and if you would like to add your spreadsheet you can do so here so it literally just says add data you can add data right here you can upload a csv or an xls file you can connect to google sheets this is basically what i use because all of my spreadsheets are basically in google sheets so this is the option i use the most because it's easiest to update your spreadsheets as well or sync them then you can also connect your Airtable, google drive or dropbox so there's quite a few options here now, like I said, I've already added my spreadsheet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data, all data. And then this is where all of my data sets are. And the ideas catcher one is right here, as you can see. And since I updated it, I'm going to sync it. So just going to quickly click there and any changes that you've made, it's just a quick way of updating it. And once it's updated, you just click open Polymer app and that's basically where your spreadsheet is. So this is like the classic review. You can see it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to look at. Things are in color, which I really like. And yeah, you can see everything. It's kind of like organized in this way. Now, this is not the only way you can view your spreadsheets. There is other views or layouts that exist. So for example, this is the grid view, but if I wanted to see it as cards, I can do so like this. So now it's in cards. You can see they're like little tags here. You can see it's, you can view it like that if you so please. And if you'd like to expand it, you can do so right here. And there's also a gallery view and it looks like this. Now the gallery view is especially great if you have a lot of pictures in your spreadsheets because they will display on the front of each card. But yeah, I'm going to use the grid view here. So it looks like this. As you can also see, there is a header. I have little emojis here with a, with a specific font and then a little picture here of three roses because I thought it was cute, but you can edit it right here by clicking on that button over there. And there's a lot of ways you can customize this. You can set a heading, bold text, italic, 
strike through, underline, quote, horizontal line. Then you also have bullet different bullet points, which I think is great. And to-do list or like a checklist option, which I personally really love because you can literally use the header to just write anything. Maybe like quick notes or anything, a description. You can you can get ready you can get really creative with this if you'd like. And you know, of course, there's a table as well. So you can insert a table if you'd like. There's different fonts and font sizes and background colors, which there's a lot. And of course, images and links as well. And more font colors. So yeah. And not only you c can you have one title, you can have different ones. So you can have multiple pages. So yeah, this is a really great way to get pretty creative with this. But I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment. Another thing that I really love about Polymer Search is the query tags. And why that is, is because it lets me see specific types of data a lot easier compared to if I was trying to find it in Google Sheets, for example. And at the moment, this feature is what I'm using the most. Let's create an example. So maybe I want to see specific statuses. So behind, in progress, and open. So any status that's not, so anything that's not closed. And let's just say that I only want to see tasks. Now, since I picked these tags, this is all I will see. So this makes things so much easier for me to see what things I need to do or what things are behind or whatnot. Now, another great feature that Polymer Search has is the visualize feature. So this is where you see all those detailed reports and charts. You can create your own. You can pick the Y axis and the X axis and maybe add a slice as well. So yeah, you can customize this however you want. There's also additional options, but yeah, you can get very specific with it or you can just even let Polymer Search suggest a visual to you. So if I click here, I just want to show you what kind of things you can get. So there's a heat map option of the statuses compared with the priorities. And maybe if I click it again, now there's importance and priority. And yeah, there's so many different ways you can visualize your data, which is super fun. But yeah, there's so many more features here. This is just the very basics that you can start off with and see how it goes. Now, I just want to go over why do I love this tool? First of all, just adding a spreadsheet that has a lot of data and turning it into a data set that is so pleasing to look at instantly gives me satisfaction. Being able to organize all of my ideas in this way has motivated me more to work on my spreadsheets. Instead of avoiding them due to the lack of organization and sorting of the spreadsheet itself. Now, what is Polymer Search? This tool basically makes your spreadsheets instantly searchable, intelligent, and interactive. It integrates with Google Sheets, Excel, Airtable, Google Drive, and Dropbox. For example, if you have a big list of content ideas, if you're a creator on social media, for example, you can use this tool to organize your very messy list of ideas into something very organized. Or if you have a big list of all the Netflix movies that you want to watch or have watched, you can organize them by category, genre, rating, etc. Even if you're in business and you have an in-depth client tracker, for example, or in general just being able to have a more comprehensive view of your business data. Basically, any spreadsheet that has a lot of data that you want to be more interactive, searchable, and overall nicer and less intimidating to look at, this is the tool to use. Now, I have linked the website for Polymer Search down below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. And they have a lot of tutorials and blogs and different things to help you get used to the 
two or more, which is awesome. Now, if you would like to get my Ideas Catcher spreadsheet for yourself, it will be a free template linked down below. So you guys can get everything set up quickly and easily and just overall get your feet wet by using Palmer Search. I hope this video gave you some inspiration to organize all of your spreadsheets and data. Let me know in the comments what spreadsheet would you use for the software. Give it a like and subscribe for more videos all about digital planning, task management and overall. I hope you have a very productive day and I will see you next time. Ciao!